Unlock the best of the world with Trafalgar. Book your next vacation with up to 15% off top-selling tours and explore trending worldwide destinations like Portugal, Egypt, Japan, and Italy while enjoying one-of-a-kind experiences along the way. To unlock savings, contact your travel advisor today. Call Trafalgar at 866-513-1995 or visit trafalgar.com slash deals. That's T-R-A-F-A-L-G-A-R dot com slash deals. Hey girl, so look, I almost didn't post this bonus episode because I'm like, well, the show come out Wednesday at this point, Sharla. Um, but God told me to do it. You may have been like, girl, I was waiting yesterday. What happened? I was tired. My husband wasn't feeling good. So I took care of my man and I was, I stayed in the bed. And that's what happened. So I didn't schedule this episode. And so, meh. But (laughs) I have it posted here today. A couple of church announcements. Make sure that you keep your eyes out. We are having our business meeting with God Challenge in the Society in April. I'm super excited. It's always super fire when we do this. Super, super dope. So make sure that you keep your eyes out for that. Also, if you are wanting to do quiet time with us, make sure you download the Prescription for Purpose app. This is an absolutely free feature of the app. Um, We do not charge for Bible study time. Like, that's wild and weird. But um, if you have the Prescription for Purpose mobile app, then you will get a notification every Friday morning at 630. We have quiet time. And it's like us literally going through and studying the Word of God. There's always so much download and revelation. We do a little worship, and then we have our quiet time. So if you're somebody who is kind of um, struggling in your personal quiet time and you're looking for some guidance to see how this works and what we do is very simple, easy peasy, but I absolutely enjoy it. And the people who participate have loved it. Okay. So if you want to be part of that, make sure you download the prescription for purpose mobile app. Um, what else I got? Girl, that's it. Now, let me tell y'all about this voice note. This couch conversation was in response to a question that I got from one of our purpose partners, whose name is Sharla. Like me, I mean, spelled the same and everything. I got a whole twin in Canada, okay? Um, But she was asking about navigating non-negotiables and fatigue. I broke the response up into two portions where I talked first about fatigue and then in the next episode talked about navigating the non-negotiables. With me also taking the break yesterday um, for a day of rest an additional day of rest. I think it's really important that we have this conversation, even though in my brain, I was like, well, the show come out Wednesday. Who can listen to this? Everybody, anybody who needs it. Amen. Okay. Um, And I mentioned in the, in the episode, a book that I was reading and it was actually our February purpose read um, or our March purpose read. Child, this is we're in March. It was our March purpose read for the app. Um, and I will link the book. It talks all about sleep. It's like sleep strategies, very practical. It's a great book. I'll have the link in the show notes. And I'll also drop in the show notes um, just some of my recommended like multivitamins. Now, listen, I'm, I am a healthcare professional, but I am not your healthcare professional. Okay, I'm going to run that back. I am a healthcare professional. I am not your healthcare professional. I am not giving you medical advice. I am your sister, auntie, cousin, whoever I am, depending on your age group, your niece even. And I'm saying, hey girl, here are some things that I have started taking that impact my health in a positive light. You need to talk to your medical provider before you take anything, but I will post in the show notes, um, a couple of supplements that I've started taking to really help with my overall health as I talk about fatigue and all of the things. Um, yeah, I think that's really it, y'all. I hope y'all enjoy this. I hope it encourages you f- to find rest, get rest, do all of the things that you need to do. Um, and understanding that rest and recovery shouldn't just be something that we talk about at the end of the year, but year round. And then make sure too, that you check out part two of our supernaturally paid interview with Raven Hoquette. It has been the bomb.com. Um, that's all I got. I absolutely love y'all. Thank y'all so much for just all of your reviews and your feedback. If you haven't, please leave a review and let me know what you love about the show. Um, Make sure that you share, that you subscribe and you do all of the things. I love y'all. God bless y'all. And I will talk to y'all later. 
You are now tuned in to the Prescription for Purpose podcast, the number one podcast for Christian women to learn how to apply God's principles to fulfill your God-ordained purpose. Every episode will empower you with the tools and wisdom necessary so you can strategically execute and excel in every area of your life. This is the place for you to learn how to walk in purpose, to walk with purpose, and to fulfill God's purpose. Hey girl, good morning. I'm so excited for our couch conversation today because it comes from a question from one of our purpose partners who says, I, um, you know, she's working, she is doing all of the things, um, she's tired and fatigued and just really trying to figure out um, you know, how to keep pushing through and build persistence, even when you don't have the energy to do things. Um, how do you do the non-negotiables when it's hard to do the non-negotiables and it feels like God is quiet? This is such a good topic because I went through something similar to this last year. Um, and so many of you may know or may not know, and I don't think I've ever really talked about this publicly. I have a genetic kidney disorder called Little Syndrome. It causes me to have hypertension. And when I say hypertension, I don't mean 140 over 90. I mean, they was ready to put me in the ambulance at the at the accident scene because my blood pressure was 173 over 130 something. And so <laughs> it's not funny, but it just like always seeing people's faces when my blood pressure is that high, I have to like let them know like, no, I have an underlying chronic kidney issue and I take medication and I'm a nurse practitioner and I'm not having chest pain and la 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 la. And you do the whole talk. What nobody talks about though, when you have a chronic health issue is like, you be tired. <laughs> You get so exhausted um, and just some days you feel good and some days you don't. Um, I also have like low thyroid and a couple other things. Um, and I think I've talked a little bit about me being in the middle of like going to endocrinology because I have PCOS and just found out last year. And so I am in the middle of going to all of these specialties, doing all of the things. And I'm also like super vitamin depleted. So I have to take B12 injections. Your girl's just got a lot of underlying stuff going on that adds to chronic fatigue. And I did not understand why I was feeling like I was always being ran over by a bus because I'm super high functioning, but also my body was screaming like, no, stop, listen to me, I'm tired, right? And so it's so important to know, first off, to to be able to identify when something is going on, okay? I knew I was tired, but I was like more tired than usual, (laughs) Like, I'm like, look, I be tired, but this feels different. And so the first thing I want to talk about is just being in tune with your body and understanding. This episode is brought to you by HERS. Look, we've been talking a lot about making sure we have proper support in place. And at ForHERS.com, you can get access to real medical providers who can prescribe trusted anxiety and depression medication if it's right for you. The process is 100% online, including unlimited check-ins, provider messaging, and support along the way. Plus, to make things even simpler, girl, you can get your first month of treatment for just $25 if prescribed. To get started, go to forhers.com slash spring. That's forhers.com slash S-P-R-I-N-G. Look, I'm a healthcare provider, and I love that this makes healthcare and mental health care accessible to everyone. So you can get started today at forhers.com slash spring. That's forhers.com slash S-P-R-I-N-G. Offer available only if prescribed. Prescription products require an online consultation with a healthcare provider who will determine if a prescription is appropriate. Subscription required. Additional restrictions apply. See website for full details and important safety information. 92% of households that join Peloton early in the year are still active a year later. Yeah, if you like cycling to EDM. Not just EDM. Try cycling to Broadway hits. Take a scenic hike in Iceland on our treadmill or row to some 80s jams. Because I have so much free time. Whether you have 30 minutes or just five, Peloton can fit any schedule. 92% stick with it. So can you. Try Peloton tread, row, or bikes risk-free with a 30-day home trial. New members only. Not available in remote locations. See additional terms at onepeloton.com slash home dash trial. 
Find the top brands, inspiration, and great value you need to own your style now at Macy's VIP Sale. Use your coupon or Macy's card and take an extra 30% off spring trends and updates. Plus, get 15% off this season's go-to beauty, skincare, fragrances, and more. And don't miss out on limited time specials. Going on now at Macy's. Savings off regular sale and clearance prices. Exclusions apply. That it's okay to stop right? Like walking in purpose does not mean that you run yourself into the ground. When I talk about things that the enemy uses to get us, um, you know, off of our game and to get us out of alignment with God, fatigue is on that list. I talk about this often, and this is why I talk about rest and recovery. Um, I was really talking about it towards the end of last year because it's a lifestyle. It's something that we have to continually pursue. You have to take care of your body first, And so one thing that I've been doing is really prioritizing my rest, prioritizing my sleep. Um, So on days when I'm not feeling it. So like last night, I was up until 2 a.m. Not really doing anything in particular. I just couldn't get to sleep. And so I was up watching New Amsterdam. And then finally, I was like, look, God, I got to go to bed. But I would usually back in the day would have made myself get up at 6 so I could stretch with my trainer at seven. I did, I did not. I slept until eight o'clock because I needed a solid six hours of sleep. Right. And so typically working out or stretching is on my non-negotiable list. So guess what? I'm going to walk later. Guess what? I text her. I was like, sis, I need to sleep and I'm not going to miss twice. And so we have to be willing to be, um, you want to be disciplined, but not rigid. You want to be disciplined, but you don't want to be so rigid that you find yourself in these in these boxes or in these situations where you can't do what God has called you to do in freedom and in peace. So if you are dealing with fatigue, exhaustion, girl, go get your levels checked. Go make if you haven't already go and make your um, your your I'm gonna say your well child check. Y'all pray for me because I work with kids. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> go get your well visit <laughs> schedule to go see your primary care provider. Go schedule your GYN appointment. Um, we're going to do this. This is one of my challenges to people during the excuses to execution um, uh, challenge that we're going to do is to make your primary care appointment. These things are free. Okay, everybody would love to talk about Obamacare and what it did and what it did in the Affordable Health Care Act. Preventative care is free. Go get your labs drawn. Do you need to take some vitamin D? Are you eating well? When you're feeling fatigued, this is not the time for you to be trying to go all systems go. You're going to burn out. And this is why it's so important that we're constantly at the feet of the father. Because your rest is impeccable to doing what God has called you to do. Remember that this is a marathon. It's not a sprint. And so we have these things that God gives us. We have these ideas and all of these different things that God has laid on our heart. And it's so important that we understand why we need to take care of our body. I actually am, uh, I read this book at the top of the year about sleep and it's likely going to be our read for March because it's really good. It's a lot. It's very sciencey, um, but it has some really good practical tools and tips. And so as we talk about rest and recovery, it's not something that we only need to talk about at the end of the year. It's also something that we need to be living a lifestyle of. So today is my day off from quote from clinic, but I still work in my business, right? And so this morning has looked like me sleeping in until eight, me getting up. I needed to wash my hair. So I did that. If y'all saw how I looked right now, you'd be like, girl, what? But I'm up to sit under this dryer and I'm going to continue working on this book. And that's what I'm doing today. And that's okay that it's not a lot of things. The goal is not for you to do a, a, a quantified list of stuff. It's not about you completing 2,500 things in 2023. It's about you doing the one thing that God has called you to do. And so like, even for me this quarter, my focus is to complete this journal and this book. That's it. God has not allowed me to even touch my nonprofit. He's not allowed me to touch my nonprofit consulting business. And guess what? Nobody is dead. It's going to be all right. 
We have to learn that uh, our busyness is not tied to productivity. And I'll talk a little bit more about that in our note tomorrow. But first things first is making sure that you are listening to your body and you're listening to what God is telling you, that you are making sure that the vessel, you're investing in the vessel and the vessel is you. That means investing in your sleep, investing in taking the time and putting the time in to go and get your labs drawn, taking and investing the time and to make sure that you're taking a multivitamin, making sure that you're investing even in the food and the fuel that you put into your body because the enemy will use fatigue and busyness to to burn you out and to get you out of the race. And so this is your reminder today for you to do what God has called you to do. And that's it. God did one or two things during creation. Go back and and listen to our, our first fruits fast, like go back and, and revisit these things. He would do one thing and say, and it was good and that's okay. So we'll talk more strategy tomorrow, but today I really want us to focus on even being able to identify when I'm tired and being okay with being tired and making sure that your non-negotiable list is not something that does not have the freedom for you to be able to rest. It has to align with the word of God. If the burden is easy and the yoke is light, that means that This list is flexible. So, okay, cool. I canceled my 7 a.m. stretch appointment. But me and my husband can go for a 30-minute walk today, and that's still me getting exercise. So we have to make sure that we allow ourselves grace without giving excuses, right? So if, like I said, I always say like, girl, don't miss twice. And if you're in a position where you are like, yo, I'm so tired that I'm missing twice, then we may need to revisit the list. We may need to revisit the non-negotiables because it may be time for us to negotiate. Maybe you've overwhelmed your list to begin with. And so we'll talk a little bit more about that tomorrow, but I want to just encourage you to take the time today to make your appointments. Go get seen. Go get your well woman. Go get your labs drawn. Make sure you're taking a daily multivitamin. Do the things that you know that you can do to invest in your health and to invest in you being able to be here to see the fruits of your labor and to sustain your purpose. So I love y'all. I pray that this blessing y'all this morning and we're going to continue to live holistic purposeful lives not just ratata and burnout right jesus wasn't burnt out jesus was taking naps So make sure that you are scheduling rest intentionally. Go back and listen to the lesson I taught about the recovery room. Make your recovery room plan if you have not already. This is not anything to delay. You have to take care of yourself. You have to prioritize yourself. And so I appreciate even this question being submitted. And it's going to be a two-parter because the fact that we understand like, hey, I'm, I'm fatigued, I'm tired. Okay, let's let's address that first and then we can address the non-negotiables because none of it matters if you're not well. What should we do with the broke propeller? What should we do with the broke propeller? Don't look at me, I wasn't driving. Thank you, you're not helping. I don't even know why you bought this boat. You told me that you loved this boat. That was before you wrecked the boat. Well, now you've made it awkward. Accidents don't just happen in sea shanties, so Progressive Boat Insurance has you covered. Take as little as four minutes to see what you can save at Progressive.com. Progressive Casualty Insurance Company and Affiliates covered subject to policy terms and not available for all boats or in all situations.